So, and also before we both connected four weeks ago, you also mentioned that you are evaluating a few other technologies as it applies to the specific task of absence of voltage testing. Uh, do you want to uh, explain on this? Just kind of put the other uh, yep. product, what we're evaluating. You want to just talk well, about some of the considerations where? I was taking a hard look and uh, met the folks from uh, the Panduit product line at a trade show of late as we were evaluating uh, this same uh, type of result on it. And then I had a chance to listen in on your webinar as well. And uh, one of the uh, the key metrics as we looked at this is that, you know, the, the Panduit product really provides what I call an automated uh, whole test sequence top to bottom, takes the qualified individual really out of the exercise. And at the end of the, uh, the test sequence within their particular device, um, gives them a green light to move forward from there. Um, so as we evaluated that, uh, first of all, the the device itself as installed is a more complex uh, installation than what we look at it uh, with the uh, voltage test uh, uh, station from uh, from uh, Grace here. So uh, there's a requirement that they actually install two terminations or two leads with some distance apart on each phase um, as one piece of it. And there's actually an extra whole nother module that uh, there's a module that obviously gets installed in the door that then on the Panduit product line goes to an internal control type box. And then from the control type box, it goes out to uh, what I'll call the different uh, points of uh, monitoring or sensing as you would, you would terminate a uh, sensor wire uh, type of stuff. Um, two other big requirements on this one is, as we really studied the specifications, we have a category four rated at that 575 volt application here uh, as what that furnace is uh, on the shop floor. And uh, in the case of the rated values of the specifications, uh, the Panduit product did not qualify to to be useful or used in that one. It was outside of their, their specifications on that. Okay. And then one of the uh, other pieces that really uh, uh, attracted us to the uh, to the Grace product line was the voltage indicator uh, side of that. So as we look at the voltage indicator, ultimately our solution is going to have two of them in place. One of them is going to be on the uh, uh, in conjunction with the uh, uh, part of the voltage test system itself, where we have both the testing ports and our voltage indicator within that same module. And then uh, the other uh, device is actually going to be monitoring the line side of all of that. And one of the one of the safety factors we looked at, uh, Prene, if you can bring back up the uh, internal cabinet of the of the furnace, there would be a, a good show here on this one. As we take a look at that. All of this line side busing is in the foreground of the cabinet. So from a worker perspective, if you open up this cabinet door and you're uh, making a assessment that that line side busing is indeed de-energized, it's the first thing that greets you as you go into the way the particular design of, of this cabinet. So to be absolutely sure that we had zero energy on the line side, one of the concerns the plant manager brought up is for some unlikely reason, we lose all of the fuses at the same time. And then we're testing with the uh, voltage test system on the other side. And we did not notice that the voltage indicator was already telling us that, uh, that we lost uh, power there. We still could uh, see voltage on that line side. So the combination of a device uh, before and after the fusing uh, gave us the indicators to uh, to uh, be the right solution as we put those those two devices together within this very unique cabinet. 